Howdy folks, Damian Turner, 4-H agent over in Fort Bend County in Rosenberg, Texas. Today we're going to continue talking about our portions on Western style saddles. Today we're going to have a simple thing talking about how to measure your saddle. What you're going to need to perform this simple task is just your basic tape measure. Nothing too fancy, nothing too crazy, just your basic tape measure you can find in your drawer in your kitchen somewhere. So what you want to do is you want to basically measure from the back of your pommel behind your saddle horn and go up to the first indention you see in your cantle of your saddle. So to demonstrate, I'm going to start here, go up, and as you see right here from that first indention, this saddle is a 16 and a half. So the main reason you want to make sure you have the perfect size saddle is because one, for more secure ride. If you have more secure ride, it makes it fun, it makes it safe for you and your horse. If you get a saddle that's way too long, way too big, you can also put pressure on the wrong spots of your horse's spinal cord and the joints as well. If you get one that's too small, you know, and too short, It'll mess up with your posture and also the horse's posture because you're going to be sitting on parts of that horse's spine and putting pressure on instead of being in the middle where you need to be when you have a secure ride and safe ride when you have the right, the right okay. size saddle. One of the questions I always get is, hey, Mr. Turner, how do I know the safe and secure and the proper saddle to get? What I usually tell people is make sure that your backside is really secure across the back end of the saddle. As you move to the front part of your body, you want to make sure that between the pommel and the seat, you see this air vent, and it should be about two inches in length, as you can see. And so that space right there is the space that you want to have between your first front of your body parts into the portion of the pommel right here. Once again, folks, thanks for tuning in. As I said before, these are just basic tips I can give you to help you along with your project. If you have any questions, my email will be right here. Feel free to contact me at any time. And once again, make sure you stay safe out there and have fun.